Now, we know that the manifestation in the flesh was God, but it was not in his natural body or heavenly body or divine body. It had to be in a spiritual body because the physical body died. So he had to come in a spiritual context. Otherwise, you can't kill God. Is that right? God can't die. But the, but, but the body was spiritual. That kept on living after the crucifixion. Y'all see that? God was manifest in the flesh. First Timothy 3.16. That's, that's, that's my, my focus point. Now y'all want to challenge her. Come on. All right. I know. I want to challenge you, Father. I was just um, <laughs> going back. Pause. You said when you, you took me off, you said pause teaching because you said you know without money. I said pause teaching. Pause the one who taught. Uh, yeah. The instruction. I, in the I first was going time. back. Hebrews about about natural mother and father and stuff like that. Right, right, but but then too, what you gonna do with uh with uh three sixteen? That's what I had to spiritual God. So the the, the, the the question, the answer is spiritual God. You have to birth to the spiritual God in the spirit. That's right. God. But but the body was the Son of God that had to die. But the Son of God. In God and Spirit are one and the same. Is that right? Yes, sir. We're going to prove it. Uh, question 14. Wait, how many, how many, how many did get that time? All right. Good, I got half the church. All right, question 14. I'm going to get some more. Paul on the road to Damascus asked Jesus if he were. That's a good one. If he were. Then you get, who who have I got? All right, Ellen Nancy. Uh, Adam I. Yes. He said Adam I. Who, who disagreed? All right, one. How many agree? I agree. Some of y'all ain't saying nothing. All right. The conversation was in Hebrew. Is that right? Yes. Give me Acts 26 chapter. <coughs> Dialogue in Hebrew. Verse 14. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecuted thou me? All right. Now the conversation was in Hebrew. And Saul said... It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And I said, Who art thou, Lord? Paul said, Who art thou, Lord? In Hebrew. The Hebrew word would be Adonai. Adonai was right. Yeah. Those of you who didn't put Adonai, wrong. <laughs> wait, 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 we ain't through with it. And he said, I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. Now, he said, I am Jesus. But the conversation was in Hebrew. What did he say? Yeshua. 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 He said, I'm Yeshua. Mm -hmm. Yeshua, translation to English. Jehovah Savior. Who was Jesus? He was Jehovah Savior. Now that was a 25 point bonus. If you got that right, I'm going to give you credit for missing a 10-point question. Oh, man. Well, I missed a 15-point question, but I got the 25-point bonus. But you didn't hear what I said, did you? I said, I'm going to give you credit for missing a 10-point question, not a 15-point question. So, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. How many got, what, what, you got a question? Um, what's the, how many points is number three? Three. Oh, five, ten points. It's, it's, it's ten, ten points. That was the ten points. Okay. How many got a perfect score? What? Oh. You got the other man in that time, didn't you? Uh-oh. Wow. No perfect score. Oh. Wow. I got 150. I got... Who, who scored 180? One. All right, real good. One, five, 180. Who scored 160? One. 
<laughs> Two scored 160. Who got very good? All right. Thank God. Good question. Any questions for the questionnaire? I went with this. All right. Okay, number 10? Yes, sir. For clarity, what, um, what chapter and verse it is? Did Paul ever take the vow? That's in Acts 18 and 18. 18 and 18. 18th chapter. 18th chapter. Verse 18. Mm-hmm. And Paul, after this, tarried there yet a good while, and then took his leave of the brothers, and sailed thence to Caesarea. And with him Priscilla and Aquila, having shown his head, and sent prayer, for he had a vow. He, he cut his hair, yeah. because he had taken a vow. So when he cut his hair, he removed the vow. And why did Paul do that? When he was going to preach to the Gentile, he wanted to relate to them mm-hmm. on a level that they could a, a, a have a better understanding mm-hmm. of him. Since, since the vow has nothing to do with salvation. But nevertheless, the vow is a higher commitment to those who want to make a higher calling and a commitment to God. So if it was good enough for the apostles, it's good enough for us today. But again, we don't want to get no misunderstanding. It has nothing to do with salvation. But any instruction or statute that came from the Old Testament, if it's not voided by New Testament, is acceptable. Tithing came from, through the law, came under this special promise, but came through the law. And it's acceptable today because it never had been rescinded. So you have a lot of preachers say, oh, my goodness, you can't find tithing in the New Testament. Paul didn't call it tithing, he called it collection. Yeah. But it's the same thing. Yeah. If you say, I'm coming for my collection, what collection are you talking about? All right. You're talking about tithes. Right. Amen. Any other questions? All right. I am. There was a prophecy, but I don't think it's found in the Bible. It's in some of the other recorded books. Yes, where they uh uh pluck out his beard and uh, stripped him nude and, and then crucified him. It's found in other writings, uh, but I, it's, it, I don't think it's recorded in the, in the Torah or Old Testament or New Testament writings. All right? Amen. All right, we thank God for the Bible class tonight. Again, let's keep the same mind and the same spirit as we go forward. We have, uh, my goodness, I left that in the car. Oh, uh, we have a schedule that was given to us by, I think, Brother Lawrence, about sodomite rallies. And the ones that are going to be close by, we're going in peaceful protest. And, and these rallies, some of these rallies are going to be at so-called churches. Where they are showing their support for sodomy and lesbian churches that will defy the Holy Bible. Yes. We're going to be in peaceful protest and show them that there is a church that will not accept that type of behavior. They're not afraid to stand up and defend God's word. And so we got, we got a big agenda. Uh, uh, also, uh, Brother Lawrence had mentioned about any sisters who need a job. Tomorrow, they are hiring at May. at Mary May, and Evans Evans has all the information. Is that right? This is Molly May. So, yes, they said they have to have a license. Um, you have to have a, a South Carolina driver's license and a car with um, insurance.